Hey, welcome back, folks. We'll take it from here podcast. This is Joe. I'm just going to get cut right to the chase because this is an impromptu um, episode. Actually, this is, fun fact, the first ever solo episode, legitimate solo episode. I'm in my apartment right now and um, I'm by myself. Uh, John's not here. Uh, you guys know Don's on a break. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't even know how long I'm going to be talking for today, but something came across um my news feed that caught my attention and I definitely think it is very important to talk about this. Um, and it was basically a video from the new Jersey project, uh, new underscore Jersey underscore project on Instagram showing uh, Roxbury high school in Roxbury, New Jersey, essentially the librarian um, brought in these books for, and, and under the guise of LGBTQ community, right. And it was approved by the board of members and in these books, it's literally showing like women with penises, um, guys with like vaginas and guys sucking each other's dicks and guys fucking, uh, I don't know, women in the ass. I, I have no idea what the fuck is going on right now, but it was appalling. And here's why. And, and I'm, before I get into this, um, I'm just going to do my little disclosure here. I quite literally do not give a fuck what sexual orientation you are what sexual fetishes you are, or excuse me, that you have. I don't care if you're gay or lesbian or if you're transgender, really. I, I like, I don't agree with in the fact that like, I don't think like that's not for me, right? As a straight male, it's not for me, but I don't like, I don't care as long as you're an adult, right? A consenting adult with another consenting adult, you, you can be whatever fucking sexual orientation you want. I don't give a shit. Okay. It's none of my fucking business. Just like my sexual life is none of your fucking business, right? Live and let live. But here's the problem with the live and let live right now. We are literally allowing in this fucking school, and by that I mean Roxbury, is allowing the books to be checked out in the library to underage kids, right? These books can be found by underage kids. They're in a fucking library in a high school. Most of the kids in high school are not 18 years old, yet they are depicting sexual intercourse, blowjobs, you name it, women with penises. What the fuck is going on here, guys? Leave the fucking kids out of this. Jesus Christ. I mean, I understand what's going on. They're trying to, it's the whole demoralization of this entire world. And it's, it's part of a fucking bigger scheme here with these fucking globalists. But guys, for Christ's sake, you don't have to agree with me politically. I don't fucking care. Like, we should all be on the same fucking page. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of cursing this episode. I don't care. You, we should all be on the same page that showing Sexual images, sex, blowjobs, doggy style, whatever, gay on gay. I don't, you, even if it was straight, man and woman, to kids that are under the age of 18, regardless, in a school, it's just inappropriate. But especially when, cons- when adults voted to have these books put into their fucking schools to kids, th- that's, that's the biggest line has been crossed. There's a word for that. Can any of you guess what it is? I'll let you think of it. That's called pedophilia. Okay? And pedophilia is highly illegal. Illegal. For good reasons. If you're a fucking adult, you should not be having any sexual intercourse or any sexual relationship or any sexual conversations or anything with kids. Jesus Christ, folks. What are we fucking doing? The degradation of society is fucking on full blast right now. Legitimately on full blast. They've turned the the, the nozzle up all the way because they're trying to push this in. What the fuck? Once again, if you're listening to me going, oh, 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 the LGBTQ community and Joe, you can't say, I can say whatever the hell I want because I, I have already prefaced this. I don't care what you do as long as you're an adult, consenting adult, right? Let me say that again. As long as you are a uh, an adult and you want to be gay or lesbian with another adult or you finally turn 18 or 20 and you want to chop your, your wee wee off you do you okay stop bringing kids into this are you shitting me seriously so what I decided to do is I said, okay, I'm not going to let this really get me too angry, even though you can I hear how happy I am right now, right? Um, so I called the school and I asked the school when their board of education meetings are 
uh, for the coming month. Right now, I'm recording. It's April 28th, okay? 2023. I don't think I need to say the year, but you never know. <sighs> Some people here. Let's see. I have the website open because I wanted to see when the next Board of Education meeting was. She told me to go to the website, Roxbury.org. Um, there are upcoming ones in May 8th, May 9th. It's a Monday, Tuesday uh, evening. Unfortunately, I will be at work. Cannot make those. And then there's another one on Tuesday, May 23rd um, at night. I will not be able to make that one either. But I highly fucking suggest, especially if you live in Roxbury, to go to this and make your voice heard. Because this is unacceptable and it's disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, sorry, that's a special meeting for uh, of the Roxbury Board of Education Superintendent Search. My bad. Let's see. So it's Monday. Um, I believe it's just Monday the 7th. Let me check that out. Or Monday the 8th. Yeah, it's a Board of Education meeting. Uh, it starts at 7.30 p.m. And then another one, May 23rd. That's a Tuesday. I won't be able to make either of those. But if you live there, especially, or even if you don't live there, you should go or you should definitely call. So I decided, fuck this. I'm going to call them. I called the office and I asked them how it was okay to have blowjobs and women with penis and all this sexual exploitation in their books. And if the principal, I, I would like to speak to the principal. Uh, she said the principal was there. She put me through to the principal and surprise, surprise, the coward couldn't answer his phone. So, um, yeah, I left him a message asking uh, him how it's okay to have this in the school. I asked him if he allows his students to go on Pornhub on the computers, which, of course, is a no. So if he's not allowed to have pornography in his school via the computers, how the fuck can he have pornography to underage kids via books that you're under the guise of LGBTQ education? Guys, like I said, what you do in your household, you do in your fucking household. How you raise your own kids, you raise your own kids. There should not be any sexual fucking exploitation via books that are under the guise of education to kids that were voted on by adults. That is disgusting. Disgusting. And I don't think I even need, like, I'm saying all these disclaimers of you do you. I don't think there's any a listener here. Um, who, who even disagrees with what I'm saying. And if you do, I, whatever, you, you do you. But um, disgusting, legitimately disgusting. And I, like I said, I'm not expecting a call back from this guy. I'll probably call him again. Um, I, I highly encourage that we all take a stand on this one because a couple things. Um, I grew up in Randolph. I live in Morristown. You know, all the shit you're hearing, all the shit that we, we hear always happens in these major cities. And I think that's the reason why is a lot of people feel like, oh, okay, well, I don't need to do anything right away because it's not affecting me. Well, guess what? It's hit home. Dude, Roxbury and Randolph, that's rivals right there. If Roxbury is going to uh, uh, adopt this, what, what you don't think Randolph will? For those of you living in Randolph? You don't think Morristown will? You, you, you don't think uh, Mount Olive? You name them. All of them. And what's the reason, Joe? I don't have any kids. Why should I go to the Board of Education meeting? Why should I call? Why should I give a shit? You may not have kids now, but you'll have kids later. You don't know where the fuck you're going to be in five years. You're not even going to be in one year. Let's just say uh, you and your wife or you and your husband get pregnant. Or fuck, you and your husband get pregnant. Look at that. Your wife gets pregnant or you get pregnant and you, know, you and your husband move. Or you and your wife move. All right? Let's say that happens. Well, what happens if you move to a school district? That... Uh, is allowing this bullshit. They say you don't have the money for private school. What the fuck are you going to do? Homeschool is a good option. Takes a lot of time, right? I know a lot of people, I do, at this point, homeschool or private school is the way to go. Absolutely. Public, public school is fucking dead. I, I, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, I, I don't even know how these Board of Education members aren't getting arrested. I, legitimately. I, I don't, I mean, I know the answer. The answer is because there's a higher uh, source and there's a higher organization that's pushing this through. It's called the, uh, you know, Marxist fucking, it's a Marxist play, dude. You know, you, you use the guise of something as such as LGBTQ um, and you use that as your guise and your way in and you infiltrate and you say, oh, acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. And it's like, okay, yeah, all right. So if you're gay, I don't give a fuck you're gay. If I'm straight, if I'm straight, you don't give a shit that I'm straight if you're gay, right? That's the acceptance. But then the minute, the minute you don't agree with what they put in, you're automatically a, fo a homophobe. You are, I don't know, somehow they, they, they'll they get racist in there because they love that fucking word, right? Which has now been anything but um, 
like I don't uh, desensitize. I don't know desensitize not the right word, but like now when if someone calls someone a racist, it's like uh, you know is he an actual racist? Uh, let's see, what did he do? Right? Did he do something actually racist, or did he just say uh, black, or did he say white, or did he say something that actually isn't racist but hypersensitive people think it is racist? Right? Like that bullshit. Somehow they'll they'll, they'll pull that in there. But they, they call you a homophobe. They say you're a bigot. They say you're a fascist, a Nazi. But the funny thing is they're forcing you to accept their ideology. And that's the real fascism. That's the real Nazism, right? When you're forcing someone, right? Jesus Christ, dude. I it's Legitimately, it's retarded. It, I, I can't fucking do this anymore with the, with these people. These people, and I don't even mean like these, like the LGBT. No, I like these fucking schools who think it's okay to fucking do this, dude. If if hypothetically a straight man, let, let, let's go into this. How about like all those drag shows, right? That was a big topic, and and you know it's like, all right, you go to a drag show, all right. Like I've never been to one. I wouldn't. It's not my cup of tea. But if it's a bunch of consenting adults going to a drag show, it's like, all right, I think that's a little strange. But you do you. Um, but how about all these videos that you see online of kids being at these shows what the fuck are you doing like there was one video i saw i don't remember the page but i remember seeing the video this fucking poor kid is fucking in shock and his parents who are shitty parents the fucking mom brings him to the show and this fucking it's like almost like a strip strip tease dude and like the kids are running up and putting dollar bills and like dude what a grown man having young kids putting a fucking dollar bill in between their fucking junk dude what are we talking about what the fuck is going on? How is that even fucking legal? Because I'll tell you what. If those parents brought those kids to a strip club, they'd rightfully be arrested. What do you guys say to that? They would rightfully be arrested. But because now it's LGBTQ under that guise, you can't say anything or you're a bigot. Fucking call me a bigot. You think I care? I think we're all on the same page on this one, right? Even those who may, who may not see politically eye to eye with me, I think this is a fucking common sense uh, consensus here. Like common sense is just that you don't fucking show sexual shit to kids. Like it, it, it's it's that simple. And they're pushing it and they're pushing it and they're pushing it. And the more I say this, some of you may be like conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theorists. But it's right now in our backyards, folks. It is right in Roxbury, New Jersey. So you tell me that. Think it's a conspiracy still? Because I don't. Oh, excuse me. It's a conspiracy, but it's not a theory. It's a fact. So what are we going to do about it? Jesus. Jesus. I, I can't. I can't. It's just so stupid. This is so dumb. I wasn't even planning to do a video, um, uh, an episode today. But I, I just feel like it's it's the right thing to do. And of course, that son of a bitch didn't even fucking answer his phone. Of course he didn't. You want to know why he didn't answer his phone? Because he's guilty. He's either that or he just thinks oh, I'm some fucking lunatic. No. You're the lunatic. It's ridiculous. Yeah, fucking ridiculous. This is the shit that happens when people don't take a stand. This is the shit that happens. This is the, the coincidental... You put the frog in the fucking frying pan and you heat it up, right? You don't put them in a boiling hot uh, frying pan because the fucking frog won't go in, right? Come in, come out, or it'll just get burned. You fucking put that shit on simmer and you let it get hot. And by the time it gets too boiling hot and the frog goes, oh shit, I'm in danger, it's too late. Can't fucking move. Dead. That's exactly what's going on in this society with absolutely everything. Polarization. So we're doing, uh, they're using the guise of LGBTQ. And I'm not even talking about like, oh, if you identify as this, I don't give a shit. But this is fucking unacceptable. This book's unacceptable. Unacceptable. And also too, like, what do you, the, you do that, you have the polarization of uh, right versus left in the, in the politics, in the mainstream media. Uh, creating division, race, sexuality. 
guys, I don't know how much more it's going to take for us to realize it is not black versus white versus Spanish. It is not red versus blue versus purple. It's not fucking gay versus straight versus lesbian versus transgender. It's legitimately we the people versus a select few globalist scumbags who do not give a flying fuck about us at all. The most powerful. You just got to stop giving them power by denouncing what they do, by not going with what they do or what what they say that is against your morals. I don't think there's anyone listening right now who is fine with this, but if you are, how are you okay with this? What's your moral spectrum? Because the only thing I can think of is someone being like, well, in health class, when you were 13 years old, there was a picture of a vagina and a penis. Yeah, in a scientific fucking manner. And we covered it one fucking day. It wasn't pictures. You should go on go on new, new underscore jersey underscore project. It's one of their videos. Legitimately, what, guys sucking dick, uh, each other's dicks, people getting fucked in the ass, women with penises. That is not the same fucking thing. What the fuck are we doing? And the librarian was getting interviewed, being like, oh, uh, uh, I was uh, outlashed, and there was outlash, and parents were calling me a pornographer. A pornography or a pedophile? Get the fuck out of here, pornographer. You'd be so lucky to be called that. Fucking incredible, man. Fucking incredible. All right. So like I said, I had no plan. Uh, I don't know. I got to get to work in a bit. I had no plan of how long this was going to be. So this is going to be a nice short video. Uh, or video. Jeez, I keep saying video because Johnny's fucking killing it on the videos. Um, yeah. Uh, this is it, guys. <laughs> you know, I can go into so many more rabbit holes right now. Um, but yeah, I highly encourage call Roxbury because that's bullshit. I think we all know it. All right, guys, you're listening to We'll Take It From Here podcast. Definitely soak in what I said, and uh, you know, I said a lot of fucks, but it's because I don't really give a fuck. Um, in the spirit of We'll Take It From Here, fuck yeah. And uh, talk to you guys soon.